Hello boys and girls, I have a book to share with you today. It's called Schubert is a Star. Star. Now this is a very long book, so I'm going to rush through as fast as I can, cutting out some of the things I normally talk about, like your front cover. However, I will tell you this book is written by Dr. Becky Bailey. Okay? So, let's get into the story. It's a stormy day in Bug Valley. Schubert and his sister Sophie are watching the rain from their kitchen window. They both feel mad because they can't go out and play. Schubert sings grumpily. Hooray, hooray, what a yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I feel mad today. Then he stomps off to his room. That night, Schubert still feels mad. He refuses to eat dinner. I am not eating those worms. I don't like fry worms. He refuses to do his homework. I am not doing counting fleas. I don't like counting fleas. He refuses to take a shower. I am not getting in the rain. I don't like mud between my toes. Schubert walk up then woke, wakes up the next morning feeling just as mad. He couldn't sing. He continues to sing his grumpy song. Hooray, hooray, another yucky day. Hooray, hooray, I still feel mad today. Then he slams the door shut and heads out to school. At school, Crenshaw, the cricket, is doing his job as a class greeter. He welcomes Schubert and Sophie. Good morning, Schubert. Good morning, Sophie. Good to see you. Whatever, replies Schubert without even looking. Sophie says, good morning, Crenshaw. And sh they shared a butterfly handshake. You see butterfly handshake? Okay. Schubert's body is tense. He's angry. He has angry hands, angry shoulders, and an angry face. He walks towards his desk and he steps on Edda Earthworm's hole just because he feels like it. Edda screams from below. I don't like being trapped, Schubert. Please move. Schubert just stands there. <laughs> Man, he's mad. Mrs. Bookbinder hears Ethel use her big voice and walks towards Schubert to keep the classroom safe. As she approaches, Schubert moves his foot so that Ethel could, so that Ethel can get out. Mrs. Bookbinder congratulates Ethel. You did it. You use your big voice to tell Schubert what you wanted. Then Mrs. Bookbinder speaks to Schubert. You seem to be having a hard start this morning. Your shoulder are scrunched up like this. Your hands balled up tight like this. You grump. You grumped at Crenshaw greeting. Mm. You grunt. <laughs> you grump at Crenshaw's greeting and were hurtful to Ethel. Your body and actions are telling me you might be feeling mad. Schubert says nothing. Mrs. Bookbinder points to three lotion bottles on the shelf. Would you like... Would you like some boo-boo cream, cranky cream, or concentration cream? She asks Schubert. He still says nothing. I see your actions that crank I see to your actions that cranky cream might be helpful. 
She takes the cream and rubs some of it on Shilbert's hand, singing, Bye bye, crankies, bye bye, crankies, bye bye, cranky, it's time to say goodbye. Can you sing it with me? Bye bye, crankies, bye bye, crankies, bye bye, crankies, it's time to say goodbye. Schubert walks over and put his head down on his desk. Mrs. Bookbinder gathered the rest of the class together. She asked them, Have you ever felt mad? All together they respond, Yes. She tightens her fist and continues, Have you ever felt bug crazy mad? Again, they answered, Yes. Mrs. Bookbinder makes an angry face, an angry looking face to go with the tight fish she asks. Have you ever felt who to do the bug crazy mad? Yes, the class shouts. Yes, yes, yes. Magically, Mrs. Bookbinder softens her voice. Have you ever felt calm? She takes a deep breath and acts calm. The class whispers softly, yes. Relaxing her face, she asks, have you ever felt caterpillar calm? All, they all whispered, yes. In her most peaceful voice, Mrs. Bookbinder asks one more time, have you ever felt oozy doozy caterpillar calm? The class chant gently. Which one helps you feel safe? Caterpillar calm or bug crazy mad? Mrs. Bookbinder asks. Most of the class pick caterpillar calm. Mrs. Bookbinder then wondered, do you know how to change from bug crazy mad to caterpillar calm? The class sits totally still. No one knows the answer. Well, hmm. Wait. A gleam in her eyes, Mrs. Bookbinder announces. Mrs. Bookbinder announces, We are in luck. Schubert came to school bug crazy mad, giving us all a chance to learn how to calm, to become caterpillar calm. I am going to teach you three ways to turn bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm. Schubert, are you willing to demonstrate the first way? asks Mrs. Bookbinder as she holds up one finger. Schubert nods yes. As he walked to the front of the class, he nods yes as he walked to the front of the class. Follow me and do what I do. I am going to teach you draining. Draining, Mrs. Bookbinder instructs. Hold your arms out straight in front of you. And make your hands into a fist. Tighten all the muscles in your arms and squinch your shoulders up towards your ears. Squeeze muscles in your face tight, tight, tighter. Now take a deep breath. Breathe out and relax. Opening your fist and letting all your anger drain out your hands. Let your bug crazy mad feeling drain out of your body like water out of a sink faucet. Schubert followed Mrs. Bookbinder carefully. Mrs. Bookbinder turns to the class and says, let's all try draining. As Schubert and the class practice training, Mrs. Bookbinder tells them, You're doing it. You held your arms out tight and let all your anger drain out just like this. Now you're ready to learn the second way to change from bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm. 
She looked at Schubert. Are you willing to help again, Schubert? Feeling more relaxed, Schubert answered. Answers, let's do another one. Follow me and do what I do. I am going to teach you how to balloon. Mrs. Bookbinder begins. Put your hands on your head and lock your fingers together. Breathe in deeply and raise your hands above your head like you like here is filling up a big balloon. Sniff in more air. Sniff in one more time. Mm. Then let the air out as you drop your hands back to the to your head. The entire class went as they empty their pretend balloon. So this one is calling is this method is ballooning and the other one was draining. Schubert. Angie, one of the three ants triplet giggles. The air fills up my body with love. <laughs> Schubert adds, I like ballooning. I f don't feel so yucky anymore. Good for Schubert, replies Mrs. Bookbinder. Mrs. Bookbinder holds up three fingers as she continues. Now, are you ready for the third way to change from to change bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm? This time, Schubert nods with excitement and interest. All eyes are on Mrs. Bookbinder as she pulls out a star wand with glitter and tassels. So that's her star wand. The third way to change from Bug crazy mad into caterpillar calm is to be a star. Star. Star means stop. Take a deep breath and relax. Mrs. Bumbina touched the wand on Schubert's shoulder as he, as he demonstrates. He stopped what he was doing. What he's doing takes a deep breath and relaxes his whole body. Can you do it with me? Stop. Take a deep breath and relax. That's how you become a star. Benji jumps up and start dancing and singing. If you're angry and you know it, be a star. If you're angry and you know it, be a star. Hold on, Benji, Mrs. Bookbinder. <laughs> Hold on, Benji, guides Mrs. Bookbinder. We have a place in the classroom where you can use these three skills when you feel bug crazy mad. It's called the safe place. Boys and girls, do you have a safe place at home? Well, you can make one. It's called a safe place. This beanbag will be the safe place for our classroom. Here's the beanbag. Where you can practice draining, ballooning, and to be a star. I am going to try it out, said Shout Screnshaw. He sits in the safe, sp in the safe place and begins draining. See? Next, Lucinda and Ethel go to the safe place and practice ballooning. I am going to be a star, announced Schubert, as he tries out the safe place. He, it works, he shouted. I change from feeling, I change from feelings of who do do the bug crazy mad to oozy doozy caterpillar calm?
Mrs. Bookbinder beams with love as she says, Yes, you did, Schubert. You use your star power. The class gather around the safe place as Schubert begins to sing a song. Uray, uray, mad is okay. Uray, uray, calm is better way. Uray, uray, I change my yucky day. Uray, uray, I'm a star today. Okay, I guess I better practice singing that. <laughs> okay, you ready to help me? Uray, uray, mad is okay. Uray, uray. Comes a better way. Uray, uray, change my yucky day. Uray, uray, I'm a star today. Do you feel like a star today? Remember, if you ever get bug crazy mad, be a star. Stop. Take a deep breath and relax. Thanks for reading with me today. Schubert is a star, and so are you. Bye, boys and girls.